Okay guys, this is going to be a video that's going to help you with one-step equations where you're either dividing the variable, the variable by an integer or you're multiplying the variable by a fraction. And examples of this might be something like x divided by 5 is equal to 6. Now we're doing this with inverse operations. If I look at this problem, I'm taking x and I'm dividing it by 5. And I need to undo the dividing by 5. The opposite of dividing is multiplying. So the opposite of dividing by 5 will be to multiply by 5. Now if I multiply that side of the equation by 5, in order to keep it balanced so we don't have the equation tilting, is I have to make multiply the other side by 5 also. Now I'm multiplying x by 5 and dividing x by 5. Those two uh, things undo each other and they cancel each other out. So on the left side of the equation, I'm left with x. On the right hand side of the equation, I have 6 times 5, which is 30. Now, math is about showing why you're able to do things. And the reason why I'm multiplying by 5 is because I have to undo the dividing by 5. And the reason I'm able to multiply the other side of the equation by 5 is because whatever I do to one side of the equation, I have to do to the other side of the equation. And that's why I'm able to do this problem with the inverse operations. I'm going to multiply both sides by 5, and that's going to undo dividing x by 5. And I get x on one side of the equation and 30 on the other side of the equation. Whenever I do one-step or two-step equations, I'm always trying to end up with just a variable like x or n on one side of the equation by itself. That's the goal for these types of problems. Let's do a couple more. Uh, let's say I had n divided by negative 8 is equal to 4. Now on this one, I'm dividing my variable n by negative 8. To undo that, the inverse of dividing by negative 8 is to multiply by negative 8. But in order to keep the, bal the equation balanced, I have to do that to both sides. So I have to multiply my other side by negative 8. Now negative 8 times n divided by negative 8, these negative 8's, I'm, one time I'm multiplying n by negative 8, the other time I'm dividing n by negative 8, they cancel each other out and I just have 1. They make 1. So on this side of the equation I'm left with just 1n or n. On the other side of the equation, I have 4 times negative 8. Uh, a positive times a negative is negative, and 4 times 8 is 32. So the answer for that problem is n is equal to 32. I'm going to do one more problem like this, and then I will also have another video for you guys where I have uh, the reciprocals. We'll talk about reciprocals. The last one I'm going to do looks like this. If I have negative t divided, divided by 8 is equal to 5. Okay, so I'm going to undo dividing negative t by 8. I undo that by multiplying both sides by 8. Now, 8 times negative t divided by 8 is just going to give me negative t on the one side. On the other side of the equation, I have negative 5 times 8. Well, negative 5 times 8 is negative 40. Now, I'm not done with this problem yet because I have negative t is equal to negative 40. The way I can think of this with this negative sign is the opposite of t is equal to negative 40. What I'm going to do mathematically to solve for this problem is I'm going to multiply both sides by negative 1. If I multiply this side by negative 1, I get positive t. If I multiply this side by negative 1, I get positive 40. So for this problem, I have t is equal to 40. And that's how I do uh, problems where I have to divide by a number, where I have a variable and I'm dividing by a number if it's a one-step problem. I hope this video helped. I have another video that will be on 
multiplying by the inverse coming up. 